Sonnet 128 How oft, when thou, my music, music, playest Upon that blessed wood whose motion sounds With thy sweet fingers when thou gently swayest The wiry concord that mine ear confounds Do I envy those jacks that nimble leap To kiss the tender inward of thy hand Whilst my poor lips, which should that harvest reap At the wood's boldness by thee blushing stand to be so tickled they would change their state and situation with those dancing chips o'er whom thy fingers walk with gentle gait, making dead wood more blessed than living lips. Since saucy jacks so happy are in this, give them thy fingers, me thy lips to kiss. Shakespeare's sonnets, one of the most tragic and beautiful pieces of writing in the English language, is the bard's last will and testament, a monument to his son, and it captures Shakespeare's spirit in poetry in an effort to keep his legacy alive for all eternity. Each sonnet is a little song as well as a little son, and the framing of the sonnet sequence is the story of Narcissus and Echo as translated from Ovid's Metamorphosis by Arthur Golding. The wood instrument is the sonnet sequence with its pages made of trees, and the ear that is confounded by the wiry concord is Shakespeare's, because a long-decayed corpse cannot hear anything. Sonnet 128 is Shakespeare telling the reader that his music is produced by the reader's fingertips playing over the words of his saucy sonnets, which leap to kiss the reader's tender palms as the pages are turned, and as the reader reads the words aloud, the bard's spirit reaches out across the centuries to kiss the reader's lips as his words pass by. Shakespeare's sonnets are the only works that he intentionally published himself, and they form the backbone of the large body of work that we continue to marvel at today. Even by today's standards, they are utterly groundbreaking, literally amazing, and open 154 windows into the soul of arguably the greatest author who has ever lived. It is a timeless work, and as relevant as ever.